Hi, I'm Mr. Biasi, and today I'm going to take a look at a couple boxes that showed up from GameStop containing their exclusive, uh, was it Light Side Darth Revan and um, Battle Droid from one of the video games. I'm not totally clear on what that is, but hey, we're going to check it out and see what that's all about. Let's go ahead and open up these two boxes here. Start with the smaller one. Of course, they couldn't ship together, although I, I will admit I'm pretty sure I pre-ordered them separately. Um, you know, it's funny, I see that GameStop and... Still a little something in me. I used to work for a competitor of theirs, uh, Game Crazy, which was part of Hollywood Video when they were in business. Oh, looks like the Battle Droid is what I got first here. So we got him. Let's take a look at this package. It's got the brown background in there as well. Uh, oh, from Battlefront 2. Okay. Has a little Gaming Greats uh, thing on there. So you can take a look. That's what the side has. Also has the Gaming Greats emblem on there. Interesting idea. Kind of a, a cool thing that we're doing here. Get this box out of the way. And I'll go ahead and open him up. So we can see we've got uh, Battle Droid, but it comes with a bunch of accessories, which the original Battle Droid came with his gun and the separate antenna, but we've got more stuff here. I suppose that helps uh, differentiate from um, the extra price point and the exclusivity and all that. So I get a good look at him. He's got some uh, extra little wear there, kind of this uh, brown and I don't know if you call it gun metal or what, um, paint scheme. This is, like I said, it's from Battlefront 2. Um, if you don't know much about these battle droids, didn't do the previous one. So I know these antennas right here are going to pop up. Oh, right, yeah, there we go. So you can pull those all the way up. I know these will fold all the way up. Like you can take them and really fold them all the way up. And, uh, like all the arm, the arms have all sorts of joints and stuff. And I think if you pull up the head, there's something that we do here. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't totally remember why you have to pull the head up like that. I'm really surprised they haven't uh, gone and done a uh, one with a 3PO head on it. I swear this just... I don't want to break it. I feel like I'm going to break it. So I'll shove that down. That does pull all the way up. I'm pretty sure it does something to fold down. But you get the idea anyway. And then I know... This is fun thing about re-releases. I know how things are supposed to work. I know we can pull this backpack off like that. And I'm pretty sure when I did the original Battle Droid review, I didn't get this because at the time I couldn't find it. But there's this little extra piece. It's like the, I don't know if you want to call it commander piece or what. But you can plug that in here. And then you get just that antenna like, uh, you know, uh, um 9 or oh, oh, was a third oh, I forget, M9 from Phantom Menace. But uh, so you can do that as well. He does come with several weapons here. So we have the standard battle droid blaster, which I'm pretty sure attaches to this backpack. Uh, I'm going to say like that. There we go. So yeah, you see how you can do that. And then we've got this, which is like the... The long rifle we got with a lot of stormtroopers. And then this, which looks like a first order uh, heavy gun that we've gotten with a couple of figures. So it's like nothing new with these, these weapons. Um, nothing new all in all, just a new paint job to signify one of the, you know, character from the video game, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and open up the next box. So obviously this must be the light side Darth Revan. We'll go ahead and open him up. You know, again, with GameStop, you know, Game Crazy went out of business with Hollywood Video. So it's been a long time since I worked there, but still, it's like they were some, my, just my competitors. So I see GameStop, I'm like, oh. So we have a very purple box. Now, I've seen the pictures online. I'm going to tell you, in person, it's much more purple than I expected. Even the purple highlights on the picture here. Of course, the purple background. We have a purple side here. Again, gaming greats there. And you can see all the information there on the back. Um, they're considering this from Galaxy of Heroes, if I remember correctly, that's actually a mobile game, 
I was wondering, because I didn't remember Darth Revan looking like this in um, Knights of the Little Republic. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It's been well over 10 years since I've played KOTOR. Uh, we pop him out. You can see our figure he comes with just the one lightsaber. Purple lightsaber. I think this is the third figure to be with a purple lightsaber after Mace Windu and Jaina Solo. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, a lot of people are referring to Darth Revan as a he. I thought at the time that KOTOR came out, it was determined that Darth Revan was a she, actually. Uh, but I, I could be wrong. I may not remember that correctly. It may just be that I fit, played Revan or your character in KOTOR as a female character. But there you can get a good look at what he or she looks like, whichever you're going with there. Um, it's a pretty decent figure. It's got the uh, cloth cloak down here. We've got some uh, detail underneath there, so it's kind of nice. Uh, it's got this other piece around here, this belt and everything. I'm sure if you worked at it, you could take it off. Uh, the hood up here looks to be attached to the chest. So, I mean, you could probably work it off if you really wanted to. But uh, I don't know if I'd suggest it. Um, you know, not a whole lot of difference other than the paint job. But let's go ahead and compare these two then to the original figures that came out. So here you can see the original battle droid and this new one next to each other. It's just the same mold. Um, backpacks are the same. The antenna are the same. Like I said, the only difference here is paint job and a couple extra accessories, which have come before. So not a whole lot new there. With Revan here, we see a couple of differences, actually. The original Revan came with two lightsabers. You see the purple is the, still the same saber with, between both figures. But the original one had this extra cape on it, too, which is probably why I think this one looks a little strange. I, I feel like it needs that cape or something. Um, and then the bottom of the, the skirt or cloak here is uh, frayed more, uh, rather where it's just a straight cut on this. So those are like the major differences outside the paint job. I think I still like the original look of Revan better, but uh, just so you can see the differences between those two. In the end, these two figures, um, how I would recommend them, I'd say if you're really into the characters, they're totally worthwhile. If you're not so much into the characters, like I said, they're just repaints. And if that's not a big deal for you, then you could probably skip them. Of course, unless you're a uh, you know completist like I am, then you always want to pick everything up. But remember, most of the time these have been running a little more expensive at like 25 bucks a piece, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I pre-ordered them so long ago, I forgot. <laughs> but uh, I've heard these have been hitting stores. I think you can still order the Battle Droid online. I don't know about Revan, but um, you know, check your GameStop, see if you can pick them up. All this week, I've been seeing lots of reports of them uh, getting out there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps you decide if these two Black Series figures are worth picking up for you.